everyone. Good morning, let's have some fun. Goodbye to the moon. Hello to the sun. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning and hello, dear Storytime families and friends. My name is Kim and I work at the Stillwater Public Library in Stillwater, Minnesota. This week, once again, I'll be sharing one of the library's story shorts with you today. And as always, our favorite little puppet friend, Baby Bear, will come to help us out. He is snuggled up in his sleeping bag. Let's listen in here. If we hear a snore, everyone say shh. Here we go. Shh. Listen. I heard a little snore. I'm going to turn him around and open up his sleeping bag and we'll call him. We'll say one, two, three, wake up baby bear. Here we go. One, two, three, wake up baby bear. He's rubbing his little eyes. I wonder if he's going to wake up right away. Oh, baby bear. <laughs> He's waving at you. Baby bear, you woke up right away today. You did, why is that? Oh, is there a lot of stuff in there? There is. Okay, would, would you show us what you have? Okay, let's see what the first thing is that he has. Oh, I know what it is. Baby bear brought another pair of his shorts today for story shorts, right? That's so funny. You've been doing that every week. And now you brought your beautiful black shorts. Was that for a special reason? It is. Well, will you, will you go show us? Okay, let's find out. Oh, what's this next thing in here? Oh, is it like a big ball? Bear, it's, is this a little moon? The moon. Oh my goodness, and did you think the moon would especially love those beautiful black shorts? <laughs> Very nice. All right, well, is there a moon in what we're going to be doing today? There is. All right, there is a moon. And what, what, are, we, what are we going to do with the moon? We're going to sing about the moon. Are we doing, we're going to do the song Ache and Drum today, right? And do you have more things? You do. Okay. Well, I'm going to set the moon down just for a moment. And what, what do you have? Look what he has. In this song about Ache and Drum, it's, it's a singing game. And, oh, what did he bring? Now, for real, this is yarn, but for pretend, what is it going to be? It's, it's going to be spaghetti. Spaghetti. And so, for this singing game, we're going to pretend to put all of these foods on to the moon, right? And it's the man in the moon, right? It can drum. Okay, so the spaghetti is going to be on, on his head, so hair. So he's gonna, oh my goodness, he's gonna have spaghetti hair. Okay, I almost had spaghetti hair too, didn't I? All right, I'm gonna put that over here. What else did you bring? Let's see, oh, oh, <laughs> where is this? Well, now for real, it's like a really big brown pom pom, but it's going to be, for pretend it'll be a meatball, a meatball. Does it look a little like a meatball? Yeah, and what, what will that be? Oh, it's going to be Aiken Drum's eyes. That, his eyes, okay. Uh, let's see, what else, what else to make this 
Aiken Chan Man in the Moon. Oh. What is that supposed to be? It's supposed to be cheese, isn't it? Is that pretend cheese too? It is. All right. Is there is there anything else? One more thing. What do you think is the last thing? Some of you who know this song may have already guessed. Oh, what is the last thing? It's pizza. Is this a real piece of pizza or pretend? It, it's pretend pizza, isn't it? So mm, it looks delicious, though, doesn't it? And what will the pizza be for Aiken Drum? It's for his mouth. Okay, so we'll make Aiken Drum, the man in the moon's mouth, out of pizza. Okay, well, thanks for bringing all that stuff, baby bear. And so we're going to sing, all right? Because now this song is actually from a Scottish nursery rhyme from way back in 1820. Some of the grown-ups might especially like to know that. And you can sing about whatever you like to. In Scotland, they'll sing about his hat was made of good cream cheese and his coat was made of good roast beef. But Raffi, the wonderful children's singer, Raffi, did a version of this song on this album called Singable Songs for the Very Young. And he did a version of Aiken Drum with these foods that Baby Bear brought. So that's the one we're going to sing together. All right, Baby Bear, do you want to stay for the singing or do you want to just listen? Um, you, you want to listen, and will you get your stuffies for later? Okay, we'll see you a little bit later with the, the snail that has the mail. Okay, say goodbye to the kids, please. All right. Okay, yeah, no, don't sleep yet. You need to go get the stuffies. Okay, all right. So, Baby Bear brought us all of that stuff for Aiken Drum, the man in the moon. Sometimes when people look up at the moon in the sky, they'll say, oh, it looks like there's a person's face in there. But there isn't really a person's face, but it sometimes looks like that. So sometimes that's why you'll hear people talk about the man in the moon. And I made a little puppet for us to share this song. You know how much I love puppets. And this is going to be our man in the moon puppet. Now, for this song, we're going to put all of these foods on the moon face, but he is going to play and sing. And it says he played upon a ladle. Now, a ladle is something like this that you would scoop soup or, or stew or something with like that. It's kind of got a bowl at the bottom and a handle, a ladle. So, is this a musical instrument, really? Not really, but for this song, I strung up a soup ladle for a and drum with some strings, and he's going to strum it like a little guitar. So I'm gonna put it right here, and a and drum, why don't you hold on tight like that, and he is going to play upon a ladle, just like that. All right, so as you pick up the tune of this, I hope that you'll sing it with me. It goes like this. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. Okay, we're going to start adding all those funny things to him. First of all, we're going to give him that spaghetti hair. So why don't you count with me, and we'll give him these hanks of hair. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six. 
six. Seven. Look at that spaghetti hair. We're gonna sing, and his hair was made of spaghetti. All right, here we go. And his hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. His hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Ake and Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Ake and Drum. Okay, let's see what is next. Do you remember Baby Bear brought the meatballs? What were those going to be? His eyes. All right, here we go. It's gonna be looking so silly. There's one eye and then the other eye. His eyes were made of meatballs. How many are there? Let's count. One, two. Two meatball eyes. Here we go. His eyes were made of meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. His eyes were made of meatballs, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. All right, let's see what's next. Cheese. What was the cheese gonna be? All right. <laughs> He's looking so silly, isn't he? All right, we'll sing. His nose was made of cheese. And his nose was made of cheese. Cheese, cheese. His nose was made of cheese. And his name was Ake and Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle. And his name was Ake and Drum. All right. Next is the pizza. The pizza was going to be his mouth. So let's see if I can put it on like that. Oh my goodness. Would you like having a mouth made out of pizza? <laughs> Sometimes I think I would. His mouth was made of pizza. How many pieces of pizza are there? One, two, three, four. Four pieces of pizza. All right, let's sing about it. His mouth was made of pizza. And his mouth was made of pizza, pizza, pizza. His mouth was made of pizza, and his name was Ake and Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Ake and Drum. Oh, my goodness. I think we should sing the chorus one last time. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Ake and Drum. Nice work, Ake and Drum. Can you, oh, he's waving at you. Can you wave back? Right. Well, I told you that I made this puppet for us to sing together the Aiken Drum song at our story short. And I'm going to turn him around so you can see or maybe guess a little bit what I made him out of. When you look at his back, you see this? It's a little box, isn't it? And it's open at the top. Hmm, any ideas what kind of box that could be? It is a cereal box, a cereal box, and I covered it with felt. So you could make a little puppet with a cereal box or another box for the body. And for his head, I cut out a piece of cardboard that was round, but sometimes, when I've done this for a craft, I've used a paper plate to make a round moon face like that. So you could use a paper plate. Sometimes when I sing this song, I use a big round circle that I just draw on a piece of paper and draw all the food on his face. And that could be another way to sing about ache and drum. Maybe you could sing the food that you're having for lunch. Maybe his Mouth could be made out of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. 
or his nose could be made out of an apple, whatever you are having. Well, Aiken Drum, you know what? Um, I need to go and check on the snail with the mail. And so, could you say goodbye to the kids, please? And you wave him. All right, yeah, we'll take all that silly food off later on. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for joining me for that song. So, the snail with the mail should have the letter of the day for baby bear. Oh my goodness, I think it just is falling out of his bag there. Oh my goodness, snail with the mail. You were having a little bit of a problem, weren't you? <laughs> There's the letter for baby bear with the letter of the day today. Okay, I know you've, you've got a busy day today. So why don't you say goodbye to the kids? Thanks for coming. All right. And here is the snail with the mail's letter of the day. So baby bear, are you ready to come back? He must have taken a look. Did you take a little nap? The snail brought the letter of the day. Yeah. Let's dump it out. Okay, you hold it. And I'll I'll catch I'll catch it. I'll catch the letter here and we'll put down our envelope. Let's see what he brought for the letter of the day. We're working our way through the alphabet and we're up to the letter H, aren't we? The letter H. The big capital letter H and the little lowercase letter H. They are different colors, aren't they? And the shapes are different, although there are some similarities to them. So do you, do you want us to draw, he'd like us to draw the big capital letter H. So we're gonna go down, down, across, and again, down, down, across. And then the little lowercase H, down, push up, and down, and again, okay. Down, push up, and down. The little lowercase letter H. And so H is the letter of the day, and you would like us to sing. Okay, we'll do that. So I'm gonna get out our alphabet chart. Did you wanna sleep or do you wanna do you wanna help you wanna help hold it today? And when we get to the letter H, we're gonna say yay. And H is for heart. Ha <laughs> ha heart. Okay. Alright, why don't you hold it in the corner? and get ready to say yay. So here we go, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, K, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Nice work. Yep, it, did you bring a couple of stuffies for the letter H? Ha, huh, ha, huh, you did. Okay, why didn't you go get the first one? What do you think he brought for, oh, you, he's got, yep, he, he left it. is for horse. It is. Why don't you hold the horse and I'll hold up H. H is for horse. It is. Okay. All right. And did you bring another one? What is the other stuffy? He brought oh, a little ha, ha, hedgehog. Hedgehog. Because H is for Hedgehog, it is. So are you gonna snuggle? Okay, so you'll snuggle with the hedgehog, and you'll snuggle with the horse. Right, snuggle in. And I'll get your blanket right here, and we'll snuggle him down. And I bet he'll go to sleep while we do our Bye Bye Butterfly song. All right, baby bear. So get your hands ready like a butterfly, 
And here is our butterfly puppet. Here we go. Bye bye, butterfly. Bye bye, butterfly. Woohoo! See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Turn it the other way. In a wild crocodile. In a wild crocodile. A little kiss, jellyfish. A little kiss, jellyfish. Okay, big gorilla. So long, King Kong. So long, King Kong. Kangaroo, to the loo, kangaroo, to the loo, kangaroo. Out the door, dinosaur, out the door, dinosaur. Gotta go, buffalo, gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon, see you soon, raccoon. Here's a hug, ladybug, here's a hug, ladybug. Let's say see you soon, lovely moon. See you soon, lovely moon. See you soon, lovely moon. That's the end, my friend. That's the end, my friend. And thank you so much for joining me today for Baby Bear's Story Short. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye, everybody. I miss you. Bye-bye.